Hmm? What do you want with me? Right. The greeting. Good. You brought your manners with you. When you know Kanu, do as the Hanu do. For a country as diverse as ours, the preservation of harmony demands that we respect the cultures of all peoples who call it home. Well, that explains your familiarity with Hanu customs. And you speak truth, of course. To live together means to learn about each other. Ah, I appreciate an open mind. In fact, I get the sense we've met before. You! You're Wu Clamart! Oh, what an unexpected honor for old Wokevu. Here I am prattling on about manners, and I've gone and insulted the third promise herself. There is no excuse for this betrayal of etiquette. Please, take up your axe and claim my impudent head! I will not. Keep your head. I hate formalities anyway, so forget about it, all right? All right then, consider it forgotten. How... prompt. We're actually here about the Ihihana float. It's in bad shape and we need you to craft new carrying poles and a new eye. I'm told you work with Uyuipo wood and a certain kind of stone? Uh, Abokisha? That I do. But while I would like nothing more than to offer my services, I just used the last I had of both those materials. My lumber in particular went to fixing homes damaged by the recent storm. I'll need ten days or so to restock. We can't wait that long. If you tell me where to go, I'll gather them myself. What? Send the third promise out on an errand like some common lackey? That's utterly unconscionable! A gross violation of social protocol! I told you not to worry about such things! All right then, I shan't worry a whit. What's with your Hanu friend there? I am festival leader this season, and have come along to oversee the float's repair. As strange as it may sound, Wuklamat and her friends believe the float is an arcane focus, meant to encourage the growth of our struggling reeds. Hmm. Too many Hanu have forgotten, it seems. But that is indeed the true purpose of the lifting of wings. Your education is impressive, Third Promise. Well, maybe a little. Allow me to show you where to procure Oyuipo. We can leave the Abokisha to your friends, I presume? Take yourself to Cave Kikitola or thereabouts and you should find the stones you need. I've been there once or twice. I can guide you.
That should save us some time. All right, then. Let's get moving. Chosen one, one of your rivals is making progress. Ah, Iana, you say? <laughs> Should our first choice fail to deliver, it might be wise to let this play out. <laughs> <laughs> the third-rate promise is making herself useful after all. <laughs> 